This is the 19th video for Chapter 4 in Google SketchUp for Dummies. This video goes with the sidebar about making complex hip roofs with the Follow Me tool. Um, this is not beginner material. Warning, warning. If I could flash this thing in red, I probably would. But it's so cool that I thought I'd better show it to you because to not show it to you would be doing a huge disservice to the, uh, the idea of SketchUp and education and all those things. Anyway, okay, what I have here is the outline of a roof that's actually pretty silly. Um, a building like this might actually exist somewhere in, wor in the world, but uh, I doubt it. The idea of this is just to show you a really complex example that you wouldn't want to go through manually and create a whole bunch of hips on these roofs. If you've kind of worked through the book, you've seen that making a hip is not a tedious process, but if you have to do 30 of them and they all come together at funny angles, then you're in for kind of a, a long afternoon. There is a great way to do this using um, the Follow Me tool, which we talk about in chapter, I believe it's in chapter 6 of the book. Um, but in advance of that, I thought I'd show it to you now. So here's the steps. First thing you have to do is find the widest part of your roof. So clearly, this right here looks pretty wide. That also looks pretty wide right there. This looks pretty wide, but I'm going to say that that's kind of the side of the roof right now. So Let's just go ahead and measure some things. Okay, I'm going to measure this. It says that that's 90 feet about. This one here is about 85 feet. Cool. So this one wins in that case. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the protractor to make a gabled end on this thing, just the same way that I do when I'm creating a gable anyhow. So I'm going to get it lined up on the red, hit shift to lock it there. I want to make a roof that's about 30 degrees. So I'm going to type in 30. There we go get the select tool and now I've got a little guide that tells us where 30 degrees is I'm gonna go up and get the line tool and go from the center point or the midpoint I guess up in the blue direction right there to the uh, guide line that I made and then I'm gonna click down and let's get the eraser tool and I'm gonna erase the guide that I made okay so what I've got now is a complex uh, roof line I guess and I've got a little triangle here that defines the profile of my roof and what I want to do Step one, take the select tool and select the top surface of the roof. Select, uh, I'm sorry, step two, I'm going to go up and get the follow me tool from tools and follow me right there. Step three, I'm going to click on the triangle for my roof and look what happened. I ended up with the roof, but the trouble is the roof is actually in there and it's hiding under all the other garbage that got created when I did that follow me operation. So if you want more information about follow me and what's going on, feel free to go back and, and um, go and check chapter 6 uh, for, for more stuff on this, but for the time being we're just kind of going through a procedure. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to triple click on this roof, so click, click, click. And what it's done is it's selected the entire roof object that I just made. Okay. Now I'm going to right click and go to intersect and intersect with model. Now what I've done is I've created edges everywhere that the roof planes were uh, intersecting each other. So watch, if I deselect what I just did, you see how there are no edges there? What I want is to, one, two, three, I triple click the whole roof, right click, intersect, intersect with model, and that produced these edges everywhere those faces actually intersect with other faces. Now, from here on in, it is um, mostly tedium. So what you want to do at this point is save your model, and then you can just start deleting things. So watch this. I'm going to grab the eraser tool, and I'm going to go up and just start very carefully erasing things away. So let's look at, here we go, I'm going to erase this edge. Okay, that didn't do any damage, so let's erase this edge, and this edge, and this edge. Okay, that's good. Let's erase this edge, and that edge. Maybe this one and that one. And I think you're starting to get the get the hang of what's going on here, right? What I'm doing is erasing away all the geometry that's not part of the final roof that I want. And there's no real trick to this. It's just a very careful kind of procedure. You're sort of going one click at a time to not ruin parts of what you're doing. Now, if for some reason I deleted a part of my roof that I needed, like that. I just deleted a, a little edge there that was pretty critical. I'm going to go up to edit and undo and that comes back. So no big deal. Okay, so what you want to do is you just want to keep going and erase away the stuff 
that you don't need. And that's really, that's just kind of the long, annoying part. But let's go back a few steps, and I'm going to go back to the follow me part so that you can actually see how that works again. Okay, so once again, we have this triangle drawn onto the end of the roof. We're going to go to the Select tool. We're going to select the surface of the roof right there. We're going to go up to the Follow Me tool in the Tools menu. And then we're going to click on the triangle that defines the profile of the roof. And when we get that, we get this whole mess of geometry that kind of sits on the roof. And what we've got to do is dig the roof out of there. So we're going to triple click to select the whole roof, right click, say Intersect with Model, which gives us these extra little edges that we need. And then I just kind of go nuts with the eraser tool to erase away the stuff that isn't part of the final roof that we want to end up with. And that's kind of the, uh, the key to using Follow Me to make complex hipped roofs. I'm not going to make you sit through going through this whole thing. Oh, did you see? I erased something that was critical there, so I'm going to go up to Edit and Undo and go back and see what I did. It looks like looks like I might actually have to undo a couple times because it looks like I messed the roof up before that. So let's go to undo and undo. And I could be using the keyboard shortcuts to do this too. So I'm going to go control Z, control Z. There we go. There's the roof back that I needed. So let's just kind of erase this part out here. So you can see that it's just a careful process of going through and erasing things.